Okay, in this video, we'll be working with the PAR P8 Pan Multi AI. This is our 8 megapixel, 180 degree, degree camera. And we have line crossing set up for this particular camera here. So you'll see that it will support up to four lines. And that any AI camera with line crossing support will support up to four lines. And we'll have individual line trips. So the first vehicle that did pass that white truck, it was tripped up there um, in the top right hand corner. So you see the individual to the left and he's actually going to get in his car and leave. And then you see this Jeep coming across the street. Okay, now with the particular Jeep, he was moving too quick. There is going to be a restriction within the field of view. So, you know, any vehicle that is crossing and moving too quick, it will not be able to detect it as a moving vehicle. So as that black car passed, you saw the red line trip and it snagged him on the right hand side. Same thing with the white car that just had passed there. Now, when you click on one of those target detections, you can actually see a snippet of the car with the field of view and then you can go straight to playback. Now, within playback, it will play back that particular clip. And on the right-hand side, you'll see that it's color-coded. So the teal is your AI event. The dark blue is considered your standard record. I have it set for standard and AI. So within that time period is when there was an AI trigger. Okay, and right after that is when the black car leaves and then crosses that line. Okay, it's there prior to because of the pre-record. Now, when I come back here, I'm going to go to the intelligent analysis, and this is how I search my AI events. So I'm looking for only a vehicle. I select my camera. I'll then select my event, and I'm going to look for a line crossing. Okay, I'm going to select motor vehicle, and a non-motor vehicle is a bicycle type, and I'll hit search. So it's going to pull up all my events of line crossing. It'll tell you the times and then the cameras. And once they load, from there, you can click on the image and it'll bring you back to the playback. And if you hit exit, it'll bring you back to the search. You can, re you can research it. And then once the individual's clips load again, you can have a quick preview on the bottom left-hand side. You can then also check off the box. once loaded there and hit those three dots and it'll show you the same information the date the time and then you can back up from here as well you can do one or multiple clips all in one shot